Hey everyone, we're back with another NPET product. This time it is a gaming mouse. So it is the RGB Illuminated. It says 16.8 million colors, up to 7200 DPI. Um, the sensor sensitivity, basically eight programmable buttons. So we'll open this up. I like, again, I always like the lightweight products that are still pretty sturdy. Um, so pull it out. We'll get the user guide out at the same time. So, it looks like it's basically just a plug and play into your USB. It, let's see, how long is the cord length here? I don't see that on hand, uh, but it looks fairly long here. I'll plug it in in a minute. Uh, you can kind of see, I like this is actually like it rotates easily, but it's also got like a distinctive like, click feel. I'm sure you can't hear it, but you can feel it. Um, it's also just very precise button movements. It's also got the two side buttons here. Um, and then on here, there's also, uh, and then this is your DPI indicator light. So um, it switches color each time the DPI button is pushed down. Uh, so this is to turn your DPI up, turn it down. Um, so increase sensitivity, decrease sensitivity. Um, and it goes red at 800, green, at 1600, blue at 2400, yellow at 3200, blue at 4800, and purple at 7200. Uh, so I can show that to you momentarily here. Obviously you have your left click, your right click, and then your scroll wheel. These are the DPI buttons, and then the default function is forward and backwards with these. Um, there's a switch button on the bottom to be able to switch the six light modes and then turn off the light. Uh, and then these are just to help anti-wear. Uh, so it does look like you do need to download the software for this. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and try and plug it in and just see what it does and I'll kind of walk you through how it's working as we do it. Um, you can kind of see the cord looks to be about a meter long or a little over three feet, maybe even four feet. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature. It plugs in nicely into the computer and you can see it's already lit up here. So maybe we can so there we have our blue is like the middle of the road, yellow is the 3200, light blue is 4800, purple is 7200, and if we go back down, um, green was the 1600, and red was the 800. So you can kind of pick with that, and then using our switch button on the back, we have kind of just fades through the colors there. This is another mode, so it's two, three, four, five, Oop. so apparently there's six, but that also might be shutting it off. Um, so you can just kind of see how that is. Um, it doesn't look like I need to install drivers. Um, it is showing up on the computer right away, um, just going in. So maybe that's just to adjust the settings, um, but it does have like to download your driver, a little code here, as well as a website. I didn't have to download anything to get it to work. So it'll just kind of depend on how your settings you want to do. Um, but this is, oof, the model M70, you can kind of see some of the information there. Uh, so hopefully that helps you. I'm sure you've noticed we've done a lot of NPET products. They're really high quality. Be sure to check out our other 
um, gaming reviews, we have wrist rests, we have the gaming keyboard that kind of matches this where you can get the lights going. So if you want to play in the dark, it's really nice so you can see everything and the numbers won't ever wear off. I'll have the links in the video description if you want to check those out because um, it's just a really good setup. So hopefully this helps you and be sure to check out the NPET gaming mouse.